Welcome in to the Post Oak Little League. I can't hear myself. Welcome in to the Post Oak Little League semifinals. Kyle Harris on the call with you here. Today we got the Wolverines and the Dogs. Starting it off for the Wolverines, the first baseman, Barrett George, takes the first pitch in for strike one. Next pitch is in there for ball one. And, um, okay, so no balls and strikes being called just whenever uh, they hit. Okay, strike one. So whenever they swing and miss, it's going to be a strike. So we have 0-1 on the count so far for Barrett George. He pops this one up into foul territory behind the backstop, and it's out of bounds. Barrett George, third grader at Kincaid School, has scored 30 runs and stolen 13 bases so far this season. The leadoff batter for the Wolves, and this one's hit in the left field. It's over the head of Bourne, and George is going around, and he's going to slide into second safely. George with a leadoff double for the Wolves. After a rocket over the left fielder's head and Bourne, and there's no outs. Bear George on second. Now coming up to the plate, the shortstop, number 27, Thomas Crystal. He looks at the first pitch. Looks at that pitch in there as well. Crystal, a third grader at Hunter's Creek Elementary. And 55% 50, 55 of his at-bats have gone for extra bases. This one's fouled down the third base line. On the defense for the Dogs right now, behind home plate, the catcher is going to be Thomas Webster. Over at first base, Charlie Nicholson. Second baseman, Max Sander. Shortstop, Holt Stanton. Third base, Mac, or Max McBarnett. This one's popped up over the first base side. Foul near the Wolverines' dugout. On the pitching mound next to the machine is going to be Toby Monroe. In the outfield's a plethora of players as they're going to switch in and out. In left field is James Bourne as well as Hudson Bourne. This one's hit over to the third baseman, Mick Barnett. And it's a ball in the dirt. And Barrett George is going to come around to score the first run of the game for the Wolverines. So it's going to be an infield single down the third baseline for Thomas Crystal. Wolverines lead one to nothing. Going back to the outfield for the Dogs. In left, James Bourne, as well as his brother Hudson Bourne. They'll be switching in and out. In center field, it's going to be Dean Urquhart and Colin Camuso. And over in right is going to be Bo Stillwell and George Walters. It's going to be a steal for Thomas Crystal. He's going to get to second base safely. And Taylor Baskin backs away and gets into that. And that's past the third baseman. Crystal's going to slide into third, though, on that pass ball. Looks like you could steal if the catcher doesn't catch the ball cleanly. That's Webster behind the plate. Taylor Baskin, one of the two female players in the Pee Wees, has 29 RBIs and a ground rule double this year. She swings through that one for strike one. Backs out of the plate as that one goes in. And this one's hit down the first base line. It's going to be foul. So that one just to the right of that first base foul line. Wolverines leading one to nothing off a double from Barrett George. And Thomas Crystal with a single after him was able to score him. And this one's a grounder right by the second baseman, Sander. And it's going to be going to the right fielder still well. It's 
going to be another RBI single for the Wolves. Taylor Baskin on first base with no outs. Two to nothing. The Wolverines lead. And it's going to be a time called from the Dogs head coach. Coach walks back in to the dogs dugout and the players go back to their positions. Wolverines leading here in the top of the first inning, two to nothing with no outs. Up to bat the cleanup hitter, third baseman, Federico Andina. He's gonna take the first pitch in there. Taylor Baskin on first base with an RBI single, scoring Thomas Crystal from third. Swing and a miss from Federico Andina, strike one. 0-1 the count. This one's lined into the into left field. Bourne letting it get past them. It's going to go into that left field corner near the foul, near the foul pole, and that's going to be a stand-up double for Andina. Andina with the line drive double into left field going to send Baskin all the way over to third base and still no outs for the Wolverines. Runners in scoring position Ben Brolier now up for the Wolverines looking at the first pitch. Brolier, Ben Brolier nicknamed Big Bad Ben, a second grader at Briar Meadow Charter School. See if the big bad Ben can come up in this big situation with runners in scoring position, no outs. And he fouls this one over the first base side near the Wolverines dugout for strike two, count goes to 0-2. And this one's popped up into the infield. It's the third baseman, Mick Barnett over and he's going to get under it and record the first out of the inning. It's going to be a pop-up foul down the third base side, and McBarnett able to get under it for the first out of the inning for the Dogs. That pitch is low to Easton Manning. The right-handed hitter stands in. And takes the second pitch in as well. Manning a second grader at Memorial Drive Elementary. So he looks in for his third pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one to Manning. See if the dogs can get out of this jam. With runners at second and third, one out. As the Wolverines scored a quick Two runs off four straight hits. This one's popped over to the third baseman, McBarnard, again. McBarnett, and he's not able to get to it. Is also shortstop Stanton on his way over there. And it's just going to be a foul ball. Count goes to 0 2. Brolier, the batter for the Wolverines, nicknamed the Big Bad Ben. 0-2 count. This one's grounded over the pitcher's head. The shortstop Stanton dives for it, but it gets right by him. And they're going to try and get uh, Andina over at third base. And they did tag him out as he slid in but came off the bag. Andina's going to be out going into third. But Taylor Baskin's going to come around to score for the Wolverines, taking our total now to 3-0. to zero. 
So Brolier with the grounder up the middle, able to get to second base on that throw into third to get Andina. Runner at second, two outs. And it's Charlotte Vermillion up now. Excuse me, Easton Manning over at second base. Brolier fouled out. Charlotte Vermillion up with an 0-2 count. Charlotte, one of the two females players in this league, nicknamed Cha-Cha, a third grader at Kincaid. And it's a swing and a miss for Charlotte. She goes down swinging. That'll be it for the top of the first inning. Wolverines lead the dogs three to nothing here on Vibe Live. Welcome in to the bottom of the first inning. The dogs are up to bat. Wolverines leading three to nothing. Dogs are going to be led by their shortstop, Holt Stanton. And we have a time called on the play. So it looks like a tennis ball got on the field from some kids playing out there over the left field fence. This one's grounded over the shortstop, Crystal. He's just going to knock it down, though, and it's going to be a single for the leadoff hitter, Holt Stanton. The leadoff single for the Dogs to try and get them back in this game. So they're trailing three to nothing. It's going to be the first baseman, Charlie Nicholson, up here now for the Dogs. Looks at the first pitch in. This one's grounded to the shortstop, Crystal, again. This time he steps up, throws over to second base to his younger brother, Sam Crystal. But it's going to be a drop ball, and it's going to be runners at first and second with no outs. Charlie Nicholson with the single over the shortstop. Get runners on first and second, no outs. Now coming up, the catcher, Thomas Webster, looking at the first pitch. This one's fouled over the first base sideline. The catcher, Baskin, back to get it, and he is going to grab it. Baskin with the first out of the inning for the Wolverines. 
runner still on first and second, but one out. It's Webster flying out to the catcher now, coming up the center fielder, Dean Irk Uhart. This one's fouled or popped up into the infield. Second baseman Crystal trying to get under it, and he doesn't. He is going to throw over to shortstop, though, and he's going to be out. Now someone's going home, and they're safe. So all the runners are safe for the Wolverines. As Sam Crystal was not able to catch that pop up in the infield. Yeah. Coach is trying to argue, saying that Irk Hart was out at first base. We'll see what they say, but... We're going to have some of the coaches get together here to discuss what the actual play is going to be. And it looks like the Wolverines are running off the field. So no run scored. They're going to call it a double play at first and second, overruling the umpires here. We're going to go the second inning. Wolverines leading the dogs. Three to zero. Top, top of the second inning, Wolverines leading the Dogs three to nothing. After a controversial double play call, they are going to say that Urquhart was out at first, and then they tagged uh, Ch Charlie Nicholson at second base for the double play, and the Wolverines going to get out of that one without giving up a run. Now up to the plate, the second baseman, Sam Crystal. He's going to swing and foul that one off the catcher's head. Crystal, the youngest player in the league, attends Hunter's Creek Elementary. He's the younger brother of shortstop Thomas Crystal. This one's popped up into the infield. Third baseman Mick Barnett over to grab it. He's going to slide to his knees and catch the first out of the inning. A couple of tough catches on that third base sideline for McBarnett, and he's made both of them. 
now stepping up to the plate, the center fielder, Will Carroll. Carroll, a second grader at Second Baptist School. He lines this one up the middle for an infield single for the Wolverines. Nice single up the middle for Carroll to get things started. Now up to the plate, Rui Diaz, swinging a miss there for his first strike of the at-bat. Diaz recently turned eight, attends St. Michael's School. As he swings and misses through that pitch for strike two. One out in the inning, runner at first is Will Carroll. This is the 10th batter of the game for the Wolverines. Diaz looks at that one, and it goes down as strike three. So Diaz go down, goes down looking for the second out of the inning. Now coming up to the plate, the right fielder Cole Kinney takes the first pitch low. Kinney a second grader at the school at St. George Place. He fouls this one over the third base side for strike one. This one's grounded over to the pitcher, Monroe. He's going to throw it over the first base, Nicholson, for the final out of the inning. One runner stranded for the Wolverines. We go to the bottom of the second where they lead the Dogs 3 to nothing. You're listening to the semifinal of the Pee Wee, Pee -wee Post Oak Little League here on Vibe Live. Bottom of the second inning, the Wolverines leading the Dogs 3-0. to zero. Here's the fielding pitcher, Toby Monroe, on for the Dogs with his first at bat. The Dogs got two on back in the first inning, but were unable to score them off two leadoff singles. It was a double play put on by the Wolverines. There to end the inning. This one's grounded right up the middle for Monroe. It's going to go into the center fielder, Vermilion. It's going to get back into the infield, but it's going to be a leadoff single for the Dogs. So Monroe getting it started for the Dogs. Now coming up to the plate the second baseman Max Sander he looks at the first pitch in now he grounds this one right to the pitcher in Brolier and it's gonna step on the bag and get him and now they caught Monroe in a pickle and she's gonna be safe off that one they were able to get Sander, though, on the ground out. Then the first baseman, George, running over to try and get the runner, Monroe, but was not able to get him. He's going to be over at third base. Now coming up to the plate, the third baseman, Max McBarnett. 
who we've seen have some nice catches down that third base side in the first two innings of this game. See what he does at the plate here. This one's grounded to the left side. The shortstop, Crystal, has it, throws it over the first baseman, George, to get the out. And now Monroe all the way over to second. He's going to slide in safely. So runner at third base. Now for the dogs. Two outs, though. It's going to be the center fielder, Colin Camuso. Camuso looks at the first pitch in. Bottom of the second inning, Wolverines leading the dogs three to nothing. Dogs up to bat, and it's grounded over the third base side. Looks like it's going to roll foul, and it does. Camuso going to go back to the plate with the count 0 and 1. Camuso fouls this one back to the backstop. For strike two, 0 2 now the count. Dogs trying to get on the board after a big three run first inning from the Wolverines. This one grounds to the third baseline again, in almost the exact same spot. That one rolls foul. Count is still at 0 and 2. This one foul back to the backstop. Camuso staying alive. Now this one grounded fair. Oh, the third baseman, Andina, and it's a high throw over the head of George. And Camuso going to second base, and, that, and that's going to go over the head of Crystal, and it's going to be Camuso running into third off that grounder to third base so that puts the dogs on the board now three to one as Camuso gets all the way over to third base off the arid throw from the third baseman and Dina now coming up to the plate the ninth hitter for the dogs left fielder James Bourne Bourne looks at the first pitch in Dogs with two outs, runner at third base, just scored one run. This one's chopped over to the shortstop, Crystal. He grounds it, throws, and that's a high throw to George. And Bourne's going to stay at first after it hit the backstop, and that's going to score another run for the Dogs. Three to two now is their lead, or is they trail. So Bourne able to put that into play, just chop it over the shortstop, Crystal, and... He's able to score a run for the Dogs as well. Now up to the plate, the right fielder, Bo Stillwell. Stillwell hits that one over the second baseman, Crystal. Throws it over to George for the final out of the inning. Stillwell grounding out, but not before the Dogs were able to score two. And that bottom of the second inning, we go to the top of the third. Wolverines leading the Dogs 3-2. to two.
Top of the third inning, Wolverines leading the Dogs 3-2, to two, but the Dogs catching up as they scored two in the bottom of the second. Wolverines now, it's going to be Alonzo Gonzalez, the right fielder up. As he looks at the first pitch, second pitch swung on over the third baseman, Mick Barnett. Gets up and throws, and it's an out. Great throw from Mick Barnett across the diamond to Nicholson for the first out of the inning. Mick Barnett in, involved in three big outs for the Dogs so far in this game. So he makes that one look, look easy. Now it's back to the leadoff hitter, Barrett George. He pops this one up in the infield right by Mick Barnett. And he gloves it for the second out of the inning. Another pop up to the third baseman. And he's going to catch that one as George upset walking back to the dugout for the Wolverines. Now coming up to the plate, the shortstop, Thomas Crystal, had an RBI single back in the first inning. Crystal known for his power, 55% of his hits are for extra base hits. And this one fouled over third base on top of the dugout. Count goes to 0-2. So Dogs trying to get out of this one with, in a 1-2-3 inning. And he hits this one over the shortstop, Stanton grounds it, throws it over to Nicholson, but his throw a little bit to the right, bringing Nicholson off the bag, and it's going to go to the backstop. Thomas Crystal going to be into second base after that grounder hit to Stanton. So now runner on second, two outs. It's going to bring up the three-hole hitter, Taylor Baskin. Baskin with an RBI single and a run scored back in the first. First pitch he backs up out of the box. Swing and foul back to the backstop and that ball is stuck in the gate right there as one of the coaches for the Wolverines running over to grab that. Make sure that gets out of that hole in the fence. Baskin swing and a miss. Strike two. 0 2 goes the count. Lined over the second baseman, Sander. He fell over, and they're going to send they're going to send him home, and that's going to be over the head. Thomas Crystal scoring for the Wolverines, making it four to two, and Taylor Baskin into second base. Baskin with a double after that throw from Stillwell. And Wolverines now leading the Dogs 4-2. to two. two outs in the inning. Runner at second base is Baskin. And Federico Andina up to bat now. Andina had a double back in the first to score the third run for the Wolverines. That one's fouled over the first base side. And this one's hit, popped up into left field. Bourne going over Bourne's head. It's going to take a bounce and hit off the fence. Andina's going to get into second safely. Taylor Baskin's going to score off that RBI double. So 
So a couple runs scored here for the Wolverines with two outs. Now coming up to the plate, Ben Brolier. He looks the first pitch in. Ben flew out to the third baseman, Mick Barnett, back in the first inning. Looks at that one go, watches that one go by him. And Dino really close from hitting that one out. This one's popped up in the infield. It's a shortstop Stanton getting under it, and he records the final out of the inning. We go to the bottom of the third. Wolverines leading the Dogs 5-3. to three. You're listening to the Pee Wee Post Oak Little League semifinal here on Vibe Live. Bottom of the third inning, Wolverines leading the Dogs 5-2. to two. It's a big two-run inning for the Wolverines there. This one's batted down the third baseline, and he's out. That's going to be George Walters. That was Walters' first plate appearance, and hit that over to Andina this time with a clean throw from the Wolverines' third baseman for out number one. Now stepping up to the plate is a 12th hitter for the Dogs, the left fielder, Hudson Bourne. Bourne with his first plate appearance. This one he fouls over the first baseline, over the dugout, in the foul territory near us. Count goes to 0-1. Swing and a miss, strike two to Hudson Bourne. Dog scored two runs back in that second inning. This one's popped up over the first baseline. George is over there to catch it. And he just misses it off his glove. So Bourne, lucky to get another chance here. After that one, it was an easily catchable ball. And swing and a miss, strike three, Bourne goes down on strikes. Two outs now for the Wolverines. Brings up their leadoff hitter. The shortstop, Holt Stanton, let off the game for the Dogs with a single. And he swings this one right up the middle, hits off the pitching machine. It's going to be Andina grounding it, but not having enough time to get Stanton at first. It's going to be an infield single for the dog shortstop. Now stepping up to the plate, the first baseman, Charlie Nicholson. Nicholson had a single over the shortstop, Crystal, back in the first. As Baskin coming all the way out 
to make sure Stanton stays on the bag. This one's lined over to the shortstop, Crystal, and he catches it cleanly for the third out of the inning. We're through three here for the semifinal of the Pee Wee Post Oak Little League. Wolverines leading the Dogs 5-3. to three. Bottom of the, or top of the fourth inning, excuse me, Wolverines leading the Dogs 5-2. to two. It's going to be the Dogs up to bat, or excuse me, Wolverines up to bat. And this one's hit right up the middle into center field. Nice hit there, that was... The left fielder, number 11, Easton Manning, with that single to start off the fourth for the Wolverines. Nice line drive up the middle in the center fielder, Camuso. Now stepping up to the plate, the center fielder, Charlotte Vermillion. She takes the first pitch in. Charlotte being one of the two female players in the league, nicknamed Cha-Cha, third grader over at Kincaid. She went down striking out to end the first inning. And swing and a miss from Vermillion there. Count goes to 0-2. A three-run first inning and a two-run second inning as the Wolverines at their five-run total. And the Dogs were able to score two in the second. Swing and a miss from Vermillion, strike three. She goes down on strikes. That brings up the second baseman, Sam Crystal. He flew out to the third baseman, Mick Barnett, to start off the second inning. Takes the first pitch outside. Runner at first base is Manning. One out in the top of the fourth. Fouls this one back to the backstop. Crystal now with an 0-1 count. Sam Crystal, the youngest brother, or the younger brother of Thomas Crystal, is also the youngest player in the league. He fouls this one back to the backstop for strike two. Count goes to 0-2. Now 
This one, a grounder over the shortstop Stanton. He's going to look over to second base and Sander, and they're going to get the force out. Fielder's choice, Crystal going to be on first base, but Manning is going to be out sliding into second base on the force out. It brings up the nine-hole hitter for the Wolverine center fielder, Will Carroll. Had a first base up the middle back in the second inning. And this one's hit over to the second baseman, Sander. He lets it get by him, and it gets by Walters in right. Walters getting up throwing, but coming around from third base is Crystal. They're going to get it to the catcher, and they're going to call him safe. They're going to say he slid under that tag from Webster there, and the Wolverines now have a 6-2 to two lead. So the grounder in the hole between second and first base, and that gets Will Carroll all the way over to third base on the misplay by the right fielder, Walters. And now runner at third, two outs. Wolverines leading the dogs 6-2 to two here in the top of the fourth inning. Swing and a miss. It's Rui Diaz on now for the Wolverines. Count goes to 0-1. Swing and a miss from Diaz, and that's strike two. Swing and a miss, strike three. Diaz goes down swinging, but the Wolverines were able to score one in the top of the fourth inning. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Dogs are going to be hitting as they trail 6-2. to two. Bottom of the fourth inning, Wolverines leading the Dogs 6-2 to two here on this semifinal Pee Wee playoff game between the Dogs and the Wolverines. We'll have the second semifinal game coming up right after this at 7.30. This one's popped up into the infield, and it's going to be an infield single from Thomas Webster, the catcher for the Dogs, leading it off. He was able to pop that one into the infield, and the Wolverines not able to handle it. It's going to be a leadoff single for the Dogs as they're trying to play catch up here on the Wolverines, who lead 6-2. to two. 
Now stepped up to the plate. The center fielder, Dane Urquhart. He was part of the double play that happened in the first inning. This one's grounded to the short, right up the middle. Crystal diving for it. Then going around second base is Webster. He's going around third and he's going to score. So the dogs catch a break there. As Thomas Webster just didn't stop running the bases. And he's going to run on in. Dean Urquhart's going to get to second base as well. Off the throw from the outfield. So dogs with the leadoff single and a leadoff run scored. After the Wolverines were having some trouble getting that ball in from right field. Now coming up to the plate. Toby Monroe. Had a single up the middle and scored the first run for the Dogs back in the second. He watches that one go by him. Swing and a miss for strike one to Monroe. Only one strikeout on the game so far from the Dogs. It was from Hudson Bourne back in the third. Swing foul back to the backstop by Monroe. He's battling here 0-2 on the count. It's the dogs trail by three in the bottom of the fourth inning. This one's hit right up the middle. It's Bro Lear coming up, throwing it over to first base to record the first out of the inning to get Toby Monroe. Ben Brolier making up for that fly ball. He missed to start off the inning. Now coming up to the plate, second baseman Max Sander with one out and a runner at third. As Urquhart able to get to third base on that ground out from Monroe. That's fouled, tipped, and fouled back to the backstop for Sander. Count goes to 0-1. This one's popped up, shallow into the outfield. Kenny getting under it, and he's not going to be able to get it. Sander running into second and sliding in safely. It's going to be an RBI double from Max Sander, scoring the second round of the inning and the fourth run of the game for the Dogs, who now only trail by two. Eric Hart coming around to score. Now up to the plate, the third baseman, Max McBarnett. McBarnett has been outstanding in the field so far for the Dogs. And this one, he lines drive, line drives right in front of Vermilion, the center fielder. And coming around to score is Sander, and he is going to come around safely. That's going to be... Mick Barnett running into second base as well off that throw from the outfield. So Mick Barnett with an RBI single now. The dogs only trail by one. There's one out in the inning. And a runner on second base in Max Mick Barnett. Six to five. The dogs trail.
Now stepping into the batter's box, the center fielder, Colin Camuso. He had a single back in the second. He grounds this one over to third base, and Dina. He's going to knock it down, but it's going to be an infield single for Camuso. So one out for the dogs as they get a little rally here. Five hits from six batters so far in this inning. And it's going to be a quick meeting for the Wolverines here as everybody is coming in. The Wolverines going to go back to their positions after a little mound meeting with the coach. Five straight or five hits through six batters so far in this bottom of the fourth inning for the Dogs. They trail six to five but have runners at first and second with one out. Coming up to the plate is the left fielder, James Bourne. He had a single back in the second. Bourne swinging at that second pitch. It goes by. Crystal, though, steps on the bag at second and gets the double play. Huge double play to get out of that one for the Wolverines. And that'll end the inning. Dogs score three off five hits. We go to the top of the fifth. Wolverines leading the Dogs six to five. Top of the sixth inning, Wolverines leading the Dogs 6-5 to five after a three-run fourth inning by the Dogs is getting them back in this game. Wolverines are going to be led off by their right fielder, Cole Kinney. Kinney grounding out to the pitcher back in the second inning. Swings and misses that one. 0-1 oh goes the count. This one, he hits over the shortstop Stanton. Stanton runs in and goes to his knees to catch the first out of the inning. So now one out in the inning. It's Alonzo Gonzalez up for the Wolverines. He takes the first pitch in. Gonzalez grounding out to the third baseman, Mick Barnett, back in the third. He grounds over to Mick Barnett this time, and Mick Barnett not able to ground that one. And it's going to go into the outfield. Bourne throwing it back in. 
is going to be a single for Gonzalez. Gonzalez over at first base. It's going to be the leadoff hitter for the Wolverines, George, up to bat. Barrett George led off the game with a double and a run scored. Then flew out to third base with Mick Barnett in the third. This one he grounds over the sec over to shortstop. Stanton. Stanton grounds it and gets the force out at second. So Gonzalez out at second. George over at first on the fielder's choice. Two outs in the inning. Now coming up to the plate, Thomas Crystal. He swings at the first pitch he sees, pops it up right in front of the catcher, Webster, who runs out down the third base line and gets it. That's going to do it for the top of the fifth inning. Quick three outs for the Dogs, and we go to the bottom of the fifth. Dogs trailing the Wolverines 6-5. to five. The bottom of the fifth inning. It's going to be hit down the first base sideline. It's grounded by George for the first out of the inning. That was Bo Stillwell to lead off for the Dogs, who trail 6-5 to five here in the bottom of the fifth inning. It's been a crazy game, a big turn of events. Wolverines had a big 6-2 to two lead, and the Dogs cut that lead now to one with three runs scored in the fourth as we're in the bottom of the fifth inning now up to bat the right fielder George Walters he grounded out to the third baseman back in the fourth back in the yeah back in the third excuse me O2 the count as he fouls that one off the first base dugout and watches that one go by him. No attempt. And swing and a miss. Strike three. Walters go, goes down swinging for the second out of the inning. It's the Wolverines leading 6-5. to five. Here in this Pee Wee semifinal game one. So that one goes by. This one's grounded over to the third baseman. And Dina gets up, throws it over to George. One, two, three inning for the Wolverines. And that was Hudson Bourne 
out there on the run. Three quick outs for the Wolverines. We go to the top of the sixth inning, or we go, excuse me, to the bottom of the sixth inning. Wolverines leading the Dogs six to five. Top of the sixth inning, Wolverines leading the Dogs 6-5. to five. It's going to be the three, four, and five hitters on for the Wolverines, led by their catcher, Taylor Baskin. She shoots one over down the right field line, down past the first baseman. And it's going to go all the way to the wall, and Baskin going to slide into second safely with a leadoff double. Baskin ripped that down the first base line, and Nicholson not able to handle it. Went all the way back to Walters, who gets it in. It's going to be a leadoff double for the Wolverines. Now coming up to the plate, the cleanup hitter, Federico Andina. Andina with two doubles on the game so far. And this one he lines up the middle. It gets by the center fielder, Camuso. And he's going into two, and he slides in safely. That's going to be a run scored from Andina. And the Wolverines now have a two-run lead. So they go up on the Dogs 7-5. to five. Andina with his second RBI double of the game. Third double in this game so far. Now stepping up to the plate, Ben Brolier. So there's going to be a quick mound visit here from the dogs coaches he's talking to the second baseman Sander about what happened last play so there's no outs in the inning Ben Brolier coming on for the Wolverines Now coach runs back into the dugout and the dogs disperse back to their positions. Here goes Big Bad Ben. We'll see what he can do. Second grader at Briar Meadow Charter School. Runner at second is Andina and he grounds this one down the third base line into left field Bourne. Bourne gets it, throws it onto the third base McBarnett but he's not able to handle it. It goes into the dugout and it's going to be another run scored for the Wolverines. As Andina comes around to score, Ben Brolier running into second base off that throw from the outfield. Three straight hits now for the Wolverines, and they lead 8-5 to five off two runs scored from those three hits. Now stepping up to the plate is the left fielder, Easton Manning. He's had back-to-back -back singles in this game. He hits one down the third base line, and it's fair. Goes all the way to the wall, gets past the left fielder, Bourne. 
and it's another RBI double for the Wolverines as Easton Manning comes into second base standing up. So three, four straight hits and three straight runs scored for the Wolverines here in the sixth inning as they now lead over the Dogs 9-5. to five. Coming up to the plate now, the center fielder, Charlotte Vermillion. She's got a couple of strikeouts on the day, trying to keep this hitting streak alive. And she grounds this one to the third baseman, Mick Barnett, and it goes on that third baseline foul. Nicknamed Cha-Cha for the Wolverines. Swing and a miss from her there and that's strike two. One of the two female ball players here in the Post Oak Little League. As swing and a miss by Vermeulian, she goes down swinging. First out of the inning, though, for the Wolverines, as it now brings up their second baseman, Sam Crystal. Sam, the younger brother of Thomas Crystal, as well as the youngest player out here in the Pee Wee Post Oak Little League. And he hits this one down the to the shortstop Stanton. Stanton gr throws it over to Nicholson and gets him out as Manning is going to go into third base safely off that ground out from Crystal. Dogs are two outs from getting out of this inning where they've given up three runs. Now coming up to the plate, the center fielder, Will Carroll. Carroll with a single and a triple. Yeah, back in the fourth. Fouled this one back to the backstop for strike one. This one's chopper over to the second baseman. It gets by Sander. Goes all the way to the wall and then right center field. And Will Carroll going to get into second base safely. going to be another run scored for the Wolverines. Most runs scored so far in any inning in this game as the Wolverines have scored four this inning to bring the total now to 10-5. to five. Stepping up now is Ruiz Diaz, the left fielder. Has a couple strikeouts on the day. Swing and a miss from Diaz there. That's strike two. This one's popped up into the infield right in front of the shortstop Stanton, but he throws it over to first baseman Nicholson for the final out of the inning. 6-3 ground out, leaving one runner trailing in Carroll, but four runners coming by for the Wolverines off five hits in that top of the sixth inning. We go to the bottom of the sixth, Wolverines leading the Dogs 10-5.
We go to the bottom of the sixth inning. The Wolverines leading the Dogs 10 to 5. As the Wolverines are three outs from winning this semifinal Pee Wee game and going on to the championship game. And this one's popped up into the infield. Running back on it is Crystal. And he catches it to record the first out of the inning. It's Thomas Crystal over at shortstop getting that fly out. And that was the leadoff hitter for the Dogs, Holt Stanton. And that brings up now the first baseman, Charlie Nicholson. Nicholson watches the first pitch go by. He had a single up the left side back in the first inning. And looks like it's going to be another single. Crystal not able to get this one, though, and it goes to the wall. He's going to try and get it over to second, but he's going to get tagged out as he tried to get two out of that one. But the wall in center fielder, these ball players are so close to it, it just bounces right off the wall and into their glove. And that was Charlotte Vermillion coming out and throwing him out, Nicholson out going into second base. We had a single, but got out of third. Now it's down to Thomas Webster. He pops this one up over the head of Crystal, the shortstop, and it's into Diaz, the left fielder. And Webster trying to keep the dog's hopes alive here with that line drive single. Two outs. Runner at first base is Webster. Dean Urquhart up to bat for the dogs. It's one for two on the day with a single and a run scored in the fourth. 10-5, to five, the Wolverines lead. The bottom of the sixth inning. This one's grounded to the left side. It's Crystal, the shortstop. He throws to his younger brother, Sam Crystal, the second baseman, but he drops it. And it's going to be safe by Webster there on the slide. And Urquhart getting to first base on that. And now brings up Toby Monroe. He's one for two with a single and a run scored in the second. Runners at first and second, two outs. Wolverines one out away from going to the championship game. And swing and a miss from Monroe. That's strike one. A big four run top of the sixth inning for the Wolverines and they put a little bit of room between them and the dogs as it was six to five going into that sixth inning this one's popped up into right field the right fielder Manning not able to get under it and they're gonna score two on that on that throw from left field and Toby Monroe keeping the hopes alive for the dogs he hits a double to the wall to score two. Two run double for the young dog scoring Webster in her Q-heart. That now brings up the second baseman, Max Sander. Now with the runner at second base. Dogs now trailing 10-7. to seven. Monroe over at second. And Sander fouls this one back to the backstop. For his first strike, 0-1 oh, the count. See if the dogs can get a two-out rally here. This one's hit it over the third baseman, grounded and Dina throws, and it's over the head of George. Coming around to score from second base is Monroe. And Monroe getting in there safely and Sander running into second base safely as well another run here scored for the dogs with two outs all these runs being scored with two outs as Andina came up with the arid throw there from third base and it's going to be a quick pitchers meeting Dogs now trailing 10 to 8 off four straight hits, technically five, but 
Charlie Nicholson, the first baseman who started it off, tried to get a little greedy, ran into second and got tagged out. Since then, Webster with a single, or Q Hart with a single, Monroe with a two RBI double, and Max Sander with an RBI double, or an RBI single. But he's going to be at second base. Off the air throw for Mandina, the third baseman. That brings up Max McBarnett. Nick Barnett with an RBI single back in the fourth. He looks at the first pitch in the dirt. Two outs. Runner at second base. Dogs trailing 10 to 8. This one's fouled over the first base side, over the fence, and into the stands. And a swing and a miss from Mick Barnett. That was way high for strike two. 0 2 goes the count. Dogs are now down to one strike left. And this one's fouled off by Mick Barnett staying alive here for the Dogs as they're down to their last out, but they have scored three straight runs. Mick Barnett steps out of the box. Swung and hit over the third baseman, and Dina, and it gets by him into the left field, Kenny, and they're going to keep Sander over at third. He's not going to test the arms of the Wolverines. And Max McBarnett in with a grounder down the third baseline for a single. Six straight hits for the Dogs is keeping them alive here in the bottom of the sixth inning. They've done this all with two outs. And now coming up to the plate, center fielder Colin Camuso. He's two for two with two singles on the day. Swings at the first pitch. It's popped up right in front of the pitcher, Ben Brolier, and he drops it. But he throws it over the first base, and he's out. He didn't run to first. Colin Camuso did not run to first base. He thought Ben Brolier got it, and that's going to be the ball game. One, three ground out's going to end it. The three runs just weren't enough for the Dogs to catch back up to the Wolverines in this semifinal game. So you see the Wolverines players celebrating as they're heading to the championship game. We'll have the second semifinal game coming up here at 7.30. Don't go anywhere. Stay here with us on Vibe Live. Final score for this one, the Wolverines beat the dogs in a close one. Final score, Wolverines 10, Bulldogs 8.